Welcome back. It has been beautiful up and down Not the bad. coast. Not Very bad. nice. We had Fiesta yeah. in Santa Barbara. We just wrapped up with the Paso Robles Mid-State Fair, right. and now also the Ventura County Fair is going on. Great weather for side. everything. Yeah, I hear the fireworks every night. I think, what's that noise? I hear boom, boom, boom. Like, oh, it's the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Look at that live shot. Looking very nice out there. Although, some fog was sort of uh, sticking around longer than it was expected today throughout Ventura County and as well some of our other coastlines. And is all also talking about that monsoon drifting over the top of us. Mid and high level cloudiness. Really, for the most part, not seeing a whole lot of that energy really getting into our area as far as any rain chances. But there is a slight chance that some of that tropical moisture could work its way up from San Diego and Orange Counties and making it up into L.A. There are some flat flash flood advisories going going throughout many of our southern and our eastern neighbors, but again, nothing officially in our three-county region. You can see nice temperatures out there, 60s and 70s along the coast. There is the forecast map. We're seeing that energy beginning to drift in. You'll notice there's the marine layer at the lower levels, and then wispy sort of high cloudiness starts to work its way in. So the forecast map showing a fairly easy uh, regimen, if you will. Looking ahead, marine layer monsoon clouds. You have to watch that. Watch out for that as, over the next couple of days. There is a slight chance that big area of high pressure firmly located to our east will pull up some of that moisture over the next two days or so. Looking at the fog tracker, watch the marine layer, but then also kind of interesting as it sort of pulls and pulls off the coast right here. Look what happens to our inland areas around Ridgecrest. That would be the border if you were heading up to, say, Mammoth, if it were the ski season, might, you might be doing that. Border of the backside of the Sierra is good chance they'll see some heavy rainfall over the next couple of days. And watch, every so often it does get close to us, and it looks like maybe inland areas, say, around Ojai, inland portions of Ventura County could see some tropical moisture over the next couple of days. And speaking of that, we do have a very active tropical map. The east coast is dealing with birds that they may see some higher than normal waves, even some rainfall along the East Coast. And we've got Izel marching off into the Pacific. And as well, this next little sort of a blurb of cloudiness right here, if it continues to form up, and likely it will, it will become Julio. So we have a very active tropical sort of uh, activity going to our south. Nothing really affecting us. It'd be nice if we could get some of that rainfall, but it looks like a lot of that will stay out of the area. 60s overnight lows in the south coast and turning into 70s and 80s tomorrow. San Inez Valley right around 60 for your overnight low, back into the upper 80s, maybe even some 90s out there for the warmest inland folks. Should be a very nice day out there. Again, coastal clouds and as well, we're watching that monsoon chance possibly in and around Ventura County by tomorrow afternoon. We do not expect it to go much farther north or west of that. So your overnight lows in the 60s, turning back into the 70s and 80s. Not much surf out there, unfortunately. It looks to boost a little bit by the middle of next week. Water's still very nice. Low to mid 60s. And your Santa Barbara forecast, look at that. Not bad at all. You can see it looking pretty nice. In fact, 60s and 50s for overnight lows. And we'll look at Santa Maria and stop there. The fog will likely hang around the coastal areas throughout the week. But look at the temperatures, Victoria. We kind of go from 75 on one end to 76 on the other, and not much fluctuation in between. Just not seeing a, a whole lot of movement in those weather maps. Just kind of a nice summer-like forecast. I like it, though. That's good temperatures. Not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, no complaints, right? Yeah, I like it. Right. Yeah. Thanks for that, Sean. Caught on video, a rare tornado hitting Istanbul. According to Turkish TV News, a severe rainstorm created a tornado that slammed into the harbor area of Istanbul today.